South Korean national Kim Tae Hoon, 63, has been charged in Singapore for multiple offenses, including cheating, money laundering, and failing to declare substantial cash amounts received from overseas. The charges are based on provisions under Singapore's penal code and the corruption, drug trafficking, and other serious crimes, confiscation of benefits, act, following an extensive investigation by the Commercial Affairs Department, or CAD, in cooperation with several other agencies. Kim is alleged to have received the benefits of criminal conduct totaling more than 1.5 billion Singapore dollars from South Korea and Japan between 2014 and 2017. Authorities accuse him of using these illicit funds to purchase nearly 28,000 gold bars, each weighing one kilogram. These gold bars were then concealed in shipments falsely declared as air-powered tools, specifically air impact wrenches, for export to South Korea and Japan. Over 23,000 of these gold bars were allegedly smuggled in this manner. The case follows a comprehensive investigation led by the CAD and supported by the Anti-Money Laundering and Countering the Financing of Terrorism Division of the Ministry of Law and Singapore Customs. The investigation was further bolstered by international cooperation, with crucial information provided through collaboration with foreign counterparts, including Interpol. Kim faces a total of 21 charges, including nine counts of cheating logistics providers under Section 417 of the Penal Code and four counts of cheating Singapore Customs under the same section. He also faces four counts of failing to report cash exceeding 20,000 Singapore dollars received from overseas, under Section 48E of the CDSA, and four counts of converting cash into gold bars, knowing that these represented criminal proceeds, under Section 47, 2, B, of the CDSA. The case against Kim began in December 2023, following an intelligence probe initiated by the CAD. The authorities apprehended Kim after receiving intelligence suggesting his involvement in a scheme to purchase gold bars in Singapore and export them to South Korea and Japan using false declarations. Between 2014 and 2017, Kim allegedly received large sums of smuggled cash from South Korea and Japan, concealed within shipments of mechanical tools. Despite each cash receipt exceeding 20,000 Singapore dollars, Kim is accused of failing to declare these funds as required under Singapore law. Further, Kim is accused of using this illicit cash to purchase gold bars in Singapore. These gold bars were then concealed within shipments falsely declared to contain only air impact wrenches. As a result, Kim allegedly deceived logistics providers into processing the shipments and misled Singapore Customs into issuing cargo clearance permits based on fraudulent declarations. David Chu, director of the CAD, has commented on the case, highlighting the importance of vigilance against transnational crime. He stated, Singapore is a major transshipment centre and trade hub for the region, with tons of cargo flowing through our air and sea ports. This flow of trade is vital to our economy, but transnational criminal syndicates will seek to abuse these large legitimate flows to conceal their laundering of illicit proceeds. This case illustrates Singapore's ability to detect these anomalous trade flows and arrest the perpetrators. Chu also emphasized the importance of international cooperation in combating transnational crime, thanking Interpol and foreign counterparts for their assistance in exchanging critical information and rendering aid in this case. He noted that this case successfully demonstrates the importance of international cooperation in bringing to justice individuals who may be part of a larger transnational criminal syndicate. If convicted, Kim faces severe penalties. The offence of money laundering under Section 47, 2, B, of the CDSA carries a maximum imprisonment term of up to 10 years, a fine of up to 500,000 Singapore dollars, or both. Cheating under Section 417 of the Penal Code carries an imprisonment term of up to three years, a fine, or both. Additionally, failing to report cash received from outside Singapore that exceeds 20,000 Singapore dollars can result in a fine not exceeding 50,000 Singapore dollars, imprisonment for up to three years, or both. Kim remains in custody as the case proceeds through the Singaporean judicial system. The investigation is ongoing as authorities seek to uncover any broader connections to transnational criminal syndicates. This case highlights the serious consequences of engaging in money laundering and other financial crimes in Singapore. What do you think about the effectiveness of Singapore's efforts in combating financial crimes involving international actors? 
Should there be more stringent measures in place to prevent such activities? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, 2230, for more updates on this and other significant news stories.